Well, hello, my YouTube family. Right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you, this was not the best of days. Not in the least. Queen of Darkness to have decided to have me on her, on her sights. And it was again because of that damn nurse. Now, I don't know if I told you about the first time or the last time that I got ringed was because of this freaking nurse. She did it to me again. She's not going to have a chance to do it a third time. <sighs> Let us do lips of the day. Oh, and another thing. Um, a former classmate of mine passed away. This makes at least a second or third classmate. My class. High school class of 82. So no, this is not going to be a fun-loving, cheerful video in the least. I'm going to tell you the situation and then I'm going to call it a day. I'm sorry. That is just how I'm feeling right now. So let us start off with lips of the day. The liner is a Chanel Aqua Crayon in the color chocolate, lined, and filled is one of my favorites, NYX Butter Glosses in the color Praline. This is Praline, a beautiful, nice milk chocolate shade, which I absolutely adore. Soft and smooth. I love these butter glosses. Love them. Okay, so that's lips of the day. Nothing else to that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I get called into the office. It's never good. I always, Every time... Somebody has to cover for me and says, oh, she needs to speak with me. Oh, okay. So we go into the conference room, and it's already gang, ganged up three against one, as always. So you know I should be used to this by now. The, the one thing I hate about myself is whenever, whenever I'm confronted with a superior, and it's a meeting, and I try to explain myself, I immediately start, my voice starts to quiver, and I start to tear up. Thankfully, nothing fell down my cheeks, but I stopped myself. But you could still hear the quivering in my voice. I hate that about myself. I really can't stand it. I really wish I was a lot tougher and grainier when it comes to situations like this, especially if I know that I'm really not in the fault. That they will, this particular this Queen of Darkness and her minions will even, it'll turn. It'll turn on you no matter whether it's your fault or not your fault, it'll be your fault. So, unbeknownst to me, the president of the company decides to come for a visit. I don't know if it was an expected visit, because Queen of Darkness usually tells me if we're expecting, you know, guests. So I don't know if this was a sudden stop, or maybe it was a surprise to her as well. And I made her look bad because of the situation that I'm about to tell you. I made her look bad. As if that was like a goal of mine. So this particular nurse. She always seems to make appointments. Interview appointments or what have you. And then immediately just go into a meeting. First of all, A, she never tells me. Oh, Nancy, by the way, I'm expecting a such and such one appointment. I never get that. B, when it comes to the sudden meetings that she has to be in, she doesn't tell me that either. So the person comes to me, hi, my name is such and such. Um, I have a 10 o'clock appointment with nurse. Okay. I call. That's the first thing I always do. Call. No pick up. Excuse me, let me see if I can track her down for you. Go to her office, go to the other office, go around the office. I did not know that she was in the meeting with Mr. President 
and Queen of Darkness. Did she bother to even tell me that she was going into that meeting? Not a word. But it's my fault because I didn't peek into the meeting to see that she was there. That, that was my fault too. I should have just walked in with the president. Because Queen of Darkness has already told me if it's anything of vital importance and it has to do with me, just uh, just walk in and let me know. Now, mind you, her words were, if it has anything to do with me. This is nurse. This is not you. But that's my fault also. That's my fault. Because I should have known that anything pertaining to anybody in this office has to do with her. I, I, I explained to her. I said, I know that you told me if it has to do with you. I didn't know that it meant you covering for everybody else because this had to do with nurse. It didn't have to do with you. Everything has to do with me. Okay. So this woman waited 40 minutes. I kept calling. I kept looking. I kept... But then I heard nurse's voice in that meeting. The president of the company's here. I really don't think it's my place to just walk on in. Oh, but don't you know? Oh, yes, you could have just walked on in. You could have called her. Are you telling me this now? So it's my fault. Because the woman walked out. She waited 40 minutes. What was she supposed to do? And I sent nurse an email. So in this gang ganging up on me meeting, um, you've been here a year. You should know. I should know. Every time I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, they move the goalpost over a yard. So, and, and don't bother to tell me, but I'm supposed to know. This is the president of the company. I'm supposed to just walk on in on his meeting? Well, it just made us look bad that we now lost a nurse because you didn't bother to track us down in the meeting. But business manager actually said something nice in the meeting. And I'll tell you something else also. She said, I don't think you realize just how important your position is. And I was like, oh, is she actually going to sort of backhand compliment me in some kind of way? I'm beginning to think that you don't realize just how important you're in But she didn't say it, say it in a mean way. She really said it in a kind of comforting way. And she goes, I don't think you realize just how important your position is. Um, you really are the face of the... I've heard the face of the company from day one of being receptionist. I'm the face of the company. I'm the face of the company. This face could obviously be replaced at any moment, judging by Queen of Darknesses, the way she was talking to me today. So she kind of like cooled down the flames, uh, man, uh, business manager, cooled down the flames a little bit. And I, was, I, I felt okay. But after I'm trying to explain to myself, business, uh, uh, queen of darkness, she didn't want to hear it anymore. Well, maybe you should really think about this position. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. So are you firing me? Or, or, what, are, what are you doing? She didn't out and out say I was fired. So I guess I still have a job. And I'm trying to continue to explain. She got up, gathered her stuff, and just... And so the other two decided to get up. And I said, oh, I guess the meeting is over then. And uh, Queen of Darkness's shadow, she kind of stayed back a little bit. And she said, girl, it's just a job. It's just a job. Don't wear it. Don't wear your heart on your sleeve. It's just a job. And I said, well, thank you, because at least you're talking to me. I, I didn't realize. And then 
business manager also heard what I was saying. And I said, you know, there's kind of a way to talk to people. And she started to snicker. And then Shadow, Queen of Darkness's Shadow started to snicker too. And she said, and I said, oh, okay. So it's obvious between Shadow and business manager that Queen of Darkness is known for not talking. She just dismisses you. Like, I'm done. I'm done with you now. That's, it is no wonder she is so hated in this company. It is no wonder. I, I, I see it almost every day now. No wonder you're wearing black every damn day. Even you know that you have a zero soul. It's obvious. You're in a position to talk to people, but you don't know how. I hear her yelling on the phone at callers. I hear her yelling at other people. So, of course, my turn is obviously going to come around the bend. <laughs> Today was the day. I kept it together. I kept it together. And, oh, Nancy, you're sending people in the back. And... How am I sending people in the back? If they are telling me I need to speak to my coordinator, there are two entrances to go to the ladies' room, to go to the restroom. If you do not have your ID card, regardless of whether you've been with the company a year or you've been with the company a hundred years, you cannot use the restroom. This is her, this is her rule. Now, this is her rule. You cannot use the restroom. Um, unless you have your ID badge. And if you don't have your ID badge, you cannot use the restroom. So I have to be the bad guy who has to take the cursing and the sucking of the tea, and I can't believe this shit, and who, who said that, and I have to say, would you like to speak to my supervisor? Because she's the one that implemented the rule. Oh, that's all right, that's okay. But in the meantime, I'm the one that's getting the bullets. But do you think Queen of Darkness cares? She wouldn't give a rat's ass. So just to kind of not to not have to deal with the cursing so much, I would occasionally let a few just go to the ladies' room. Just apparently I was caught, but she didn't say anything. She just brought it up in this meeting. Or you have people walking around and they're constantly going to now mind you I did do a little indeed.com yes I did so obviously the, the wheels in my head are turning about that but I'm not financially stable to just hop from one job to another. So the wheels are turning, oh, but I am looking. Turning the page and turning the page and, you know, just looking, saving. Oh, this position looks okay. This position looks all right. Hmm, this looks interesting. I'm not saying I'm going to jump the ship right now. I can't. I'm financially bound to this piece of shit job that I've got now. It is what it is. It is a J-O-B. And Shadow pretty much told me in so many words, it's just a job. Because she dismisses you like... She doesn't say what the meeting is over. She doesn't say we're done. She just up and leaves. She just packs the stuff and she, she just up and walks away. Like, she is done with you. You may leave now. And then I, I have to wonder why people don't like your ass. So I gathered my bearings. I went back to my desk. But the nexus 
of this whole situation? The nurse. She's the, she's the, she's the, 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 yeah, began the whole thing. Oh, and I was told that she would be spoken to as well. We'll see. Because she doesn't inform me of shit. Okay, she doesn't inform me of shit. So... So that was my day. And then later on in the afternoon, you know, after I, I did everything that I had to do, did my little, I took my little phone, did my little on writing, and that's when I found out that a former classmate of mine passed away. And it's not a classmate that I hung out with every day when we were in high school, but she was in a few of my classes and we would laugh and the very last um class reunion i think the first and the last no we had a couple we had a couple of class reunions the second class reunion we shared a table and we were talking and we were laughing she had the funniest laugh and then i see a long post with her picture and she's in the picture with somebody else and i'm like like i it wasn't registering that she was the one. I thought it was the, the person that she was with in the picture that had passed away. But then, obviously, it was somebody else who made the post and said, our beloved, I was like, oh, no. This day just can't get any worse. Well, that was the worst of it, getting that news. So it was not a good day. Not a good day at all but it is 5 58 now and it's over so let's just put it behind us and pray that tomorrow will be a better day I just want to be invisible to this woman. I really do. Like, I don't want to. Some people want to shine in front of their supervisors and they want to do that. No, no. Please keep me in the background. Please keep me in the background. Just let me do what I have to do. And then fucking five o'clock, just let me get the fuck out of there. Okay, just let me go. Let me come in on time. Let me do what I have to do with the people and animals that I have to work with. And let me leave a five. The surprising, the, the real shocker was that they were actually blaming me because the person that had the interview with the nurse could not wait any longer. She could have walked out of that meeting anytime and said, oh, by the way, I'm expecting somebody, Nancy, could you just hold me? Anytime. Did she bother to do that? No. When she's expecting people, does she ever bother to tell me? No. But it's still my fault that we lost a nurse. Really? Like you can't call her up and rearrange, reschedule a meeting? And it's apparent. It's quite apparent. Because Shadow told me, or said out loud, that we are in desperate need of nurses. We are in desperate need. So obviously we ain't doing all that great, huh? Well, no, we're not. We're not. I, I, I suppose I'm to blame for that as well. Okay, people. It is really time for me to go now. It's time for me to go. Um, it's going to take me, of course, the rest of the evening to just hoosa. To just hoosa, power down. It's over. Tomorrow's another day. 
But that bitch nurse, every call that she doesn't pick up, I'm going to say, please hold. I will track her MF butt down. You have a very important call. Every person that comes in to speak to her, hold on one moment. I don't give a crap who she has in her office. You have somebody waiting in the, in the reception area. And whoever is in her office is my witness. You can't tell me you didn't get that message. She was sitting right there. Oh, and we've got three new hirees. God help them. That's all I have to say. God help them. Okay, people, so that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. And this was the day. Okay, not such a great one. All right, so that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about everything. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.